Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. We've got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music! Yeah. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Get that out. Stuff a 20 in this. Oh! <laughs> fucking do something about this? <laughs> uh, all right, that's enough. Oh! Oh! I said that's enough! Hey! Oh, no. Hey! I got security! Security! No. What you fucking oh, say? Come on, big guy! Come on! Right there. No. Oh. Fuck. No. Oh. No. Come here, you little shit! No. Tracy! Go home! Hey, you little prick! Ah, oh, they towed us! I've never we gotta seen take more the truck. people in my life. There! We take the truck! I got a deposit on that truck! Look! He went left! Do you see him? How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting! Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig! We'll flatten this dickbag. <laughs> fucking asshole! I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road! It's only a battery car, come on! This ain't exactly a racer. He went left! Look at him! He's on the train track! We can have a little fun with him, but let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? I saw him turn left! I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little, huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. I just hope that you broke your goddamn neck. He took a right. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in L.S. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but... Oh. We'll get him! We'll get him! But well, we're sure taking our time about it. Chill the fuck out. Ah, ah, he's going down into the L.S. River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. I've never even seen him before. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. 
Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Uh, Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity, mm hmm I mean, I need music, or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> what the fuck is that? All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, come on. Oh, oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please, come on, no, get no. up. Take off, go, now. Before I change my mind. Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. No fucking way! Vamos to car, amigo! Ugh. Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Ah, thank God for that. No, oh, come on, man! I just got that bike! Somebody stop that guy! Screw this. This shit ain't working. Jesus Christ! 
Yo, Hi. where you at, Lo? Hell yeah. Oh, my bad, homie. Yeah, Jimmy, is that you? Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if the when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> Uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... Then we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. 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 I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. What the hell was that? Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. You wanna end up on the slab? Come on. That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. Hey, stop! Put your hands on your head! Here I go! You cocksucker!
You three, hit! to be here. today.
Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the Agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA... Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember, I told you I know people. Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a an informal witness protection program. He helped me, I didn't reveal secrets of his, and everything was cool. Problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I... I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's... I don't... Hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look. I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin. You'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you, big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. is really a very effective metaphor for American capitalism.
that broke your goddamn neck. Good lord above. Ah! going to look so good. Come back anytime. Trevor is a... The Trevor... Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Uh, Trevor is a good guy. He's like family. I got kid, ain't he Floyd? That, 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 that's it, right. Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so... Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa, whoa! Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they when they look at it. Well, show me. Oh, no. Show me, no, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run. We got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, T. I really miss. Well, I guess we're going to Port City then. Come on then, Floyd. What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know. It's fine. Rightly know what we got. Uh, you're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Uh, sir, uh, I stole a pencil in elementary school and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, go always work a stick in the mug. Uh, look, uh, sir, please. Uh, 
Just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck. Hey, now. A truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's... There's been all these, uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order. My butt's gone The folks up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter? Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. They won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Meriwether guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats. Go park and get to dispatch. Uh, yep, yeah, will do. <laughs> Go park and get to dispatch. Come on, shift's about to start. Here comes the soup. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. Well, he's particularly drunk. We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. So that is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Merryweather guys at two o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! You drive and I'll spot. I guess they're gonna kick me out if I don't play along. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous, relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together, stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happened when he's neck deep in shit. It's those containers. Baby!
They're gonna check us! And attach it! That's it! Now we gotta bring it over to Bay F! I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. There it is. Now I guess we gotta get the other one. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot! Hook it up! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. There was old friends with the... Well, with the... Well, with the... How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers. They're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. Those are the containers in Bay B. Okay, we got it. Let's take her down to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. You happy? Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot! Trevor! I'm gonna lose my job! Clamp it on now! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. There was old friends with the... Well, with the... Well, with the... With the say no more! You didn't fillet no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. I swear, Trevor, but we'll be reported. Okay, it's up to the top of the crane for me.
Very time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. All right, I'm here. What do I do? First up, position the cabin over a container. There's some lights on the spreader that should help with alignment. Looks like you're in line. That's lined up. Move the spreader down so it can grab the container. She's there. Lock her on. You got it. Now pick it up so it'll clear the other containers and move it down to the end. We need to go to the other end. Bay 5. Right down at the end. That's the truck. Ease her onto it. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. The truck is clear to go. Signal man and crane driver working together. Now let's do the same thing again. Get back down to the other end! Line up the second red container at the end. It don't look pretty when these smush people. They ain't gonna be able to haul that freight. Pick it up for me. Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. How about this view, huh? I'm gonna take some photos for the kids.
Trevor, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! This rig ain't being used. It's on the other side of Port City. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead end? No. Floyd, it's dead end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. Access. No entiendo! Uh, no understand you! Huh? Manifesto! Manifesto say deliver here! Mm. Hey, stop! Where the fuck do you think you're going? Back up! 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 Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Meriwether. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah. Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Meriwether at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere.
In the name of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, they're there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? Did you, you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. This'll do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. Oh, that's uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now! And, there, perfect. All right, so, based on my observations, I'd say these Meriwether security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that, too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, Bring it back here and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aight, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? It's gotta be the container, right? You and Floyd can help. We'll get Michael involved, and he can put us in touch with some local talent. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. You can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bags! 